Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2022 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Sagittarius, I'll be doing a dual reading today. Either side could resonate as yourself. The other will be your person of interest. Of course, the energy can be reversed, so keep that in mind. And if you're cross-watching, either side could resonate as a Sagittarian that you're dealing with. So Sagittarius, finishing up the shuffle here, I've been meditating on these cards before I came online. So let's take a look at uh, your energy for the month of April. For Sagittarius, let's take a look where you stand, where you hope to stand in the future with this, how you feel about the other person, what's hidden, the strengths, the challenges, what's in your environment, advice for you Sagittarius and the potential outcome. And let's have a look at your person of interest. Either side can resonate. So again, uh, please do keep that in mind. I've already been meditating on these cards. So just a few more shuffles here for your person of interest, Sagittarius. Their energy towards you for the month of April 2022. Sagittarius's person of interest. Let's get their energy down here, guys, quickly where they stand, their hopes for the future, how they feel about you, Sag, their, what's hidden for this person, their strengths, the challenge for this person, what's in their environment, advice for them, and the potential outcome. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get the cats and dogs going here, using the cosmic cat and the divine dog wisdom oracles. So let's take a look at Sagittarius's energy. Sagittarius's energy in love. For the month of April, please, Spirit, Sagittarius. The energy of Sagittarius for the month of April. Prosperity, oh, like that. Love, love, love for you, Sagittarius. Prosperity. And let's look at your person of interest. Of course, this can be reversed, so always remember that with a general reading. You get to decide who's who. Sagittarius is person of interest. What is the energy towards Sagittarius, please? What is the energy of this person towards Sagittarius? Oh, someone's taking action. They're catching the frisbee here. You've thrown the ball. The ball's in their court. Seems like they're picking it up. There's an energy of carpe diem here, seizing the day. So let's look at the energy between the two of you. Loving it so far. Sag, let's take a look at the energy between these two people. Spirit, what connects these two people? What connects these two people in the month of April? Whoa, okay. We have the chariot, yes. And the king of cups. Oh, love coming in for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you have someone around you. Um, doesn't have to be water placements but I am getting for some of you this person could be uh, uh, Scorpio or Cancer. I get Scorpio and Cancer here, King of Cups and the Chariot. So this person has um, is conquering some fears, so I'm getting that. Uh, they seem to be a person of action. This is not gender specific so uh, this King of Cups could be uh, identify as male or female so let's take a look here Sagittarius what is going on okay we've got the uh, six of swords in the reverse well at the moment Sag it seems like you're um, in the month of April you're spending a little bit more time at home uh, perhaps you've been out and about uh, maybe traveling taking some trips either far and wide but I get in the month of April, you're spending more time at home. So uh, let's see this other person. The Eight of Cups. Okay. This person, I do get them being on a pilgrimage to come to you. Now, this person has been resistant quite recently. I'm getting that. But it seems like their main focus at the moment is on leaving anything that is, that is not happy in their life, that's not making them happy. 
So I feel that they're doing... Okay, I've got this person as someone who has taken some time recently to sort through various options in their life. They've, they're taking time to think about, okay, is that option a good thing for me? How do I feel about that? Uh, they're really quite introspective, this person. And I'm getting this feeling that they have come to a conclusion recently that they need more emotional connection in their life, more love. Uh, they seem to be making that a priority, but let's see for you guys. Magician in reverse. You know, Sagittarius, it seems like you've been in a, a strong manifestation period, but you've been manifesting things in a kind of haphazard way. What do I mean by that? Well, it feels like you've been making things happen, but when you've gotten them, they haven't really been what you really truly wanted or needed for your soul's growth. So you've had things come to you that may have actually felt like prosperity. It could have been um, I don't know, it could have been a number of things. It could have been, uh, yeah, mm, I don't want to say, I don't feel that there's anything really bad that you manifested. It just feels like it, it you know, when you, when you manifest things and, and you seem to have a, a lot of abundance in your life, but it's not really the type of abundance that, that makes your soul sing. You know, you might have things, you might have opportunities, but then none of it's really making your soul sing. There's no real connection there, but you're still manifesting things. Uh, I hope that that makes sense, guys. Um, let's see. This person over here, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I feel that they need to, to start taking action here. So they've been very introspective, they've been sorting through their options, thinking about uh, what they want to do next, what's important for them, but it seems like they're a bit stuck at the moment, uh, stuck in the feel, stuck in how, how things are making them feel. I don't get them making any kind of action just yet, okay. For you we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. I feel that for you, abundance is looking differently, prosperity is looking differently. I've, what I'm getting around you, Sag, is that in the past you may have attracted a lot of things to you, practical things, uh, stuff, but I get you actually doing some inner work here and realizing, you know what, it's not about the accumulation of stuff, of things. I feel you're more about the experience these days, uh, connections with other people, uh, experiences in life, uh, going to events. Uh, so I get you not really accumulating stuff. Um, now, some of you may be spending a little bit more than you should. Um, but it's on it seems to be on things that are more experienced things that are experienced i don't see you going out and buying like uh, new clothes and uh, um, knickknacks for your home and that that kind of stuff i get you actually decluttering paring down because you realize that the more stuff you have the less free you are to experience life uh, it bogs you down uh, so, yeah, your v vision of prosperity in your life is changing. It feels more ex something that you're going to experience. You're looking for more ex experiences in your life. Now, this person over here seems to be a bit um, still bogged down in the material, but let's see. Okay, Nine of Cups. So they're starting to dream. Uh, and I feel that they're starting to dream of more experiences, okay. So you're a little bit far ahead of this person in, in terms of the uh, the thinking. 
I feel that you're quite similar in terms of in the past you've been thinking that abundance was stuff, that you needed like the uh, the handbags, the uh, the shoes, the uh, the accessories, the uh, you name it, right? Whatever it is, the, the the watches, all of that kind of stuff. But now that's changing. Now I get you offloading that kind of energy and offloading that stuff. Even maybe some of you are putting it out on on a website, or, and you know name any of the ones, right? That you put to your used stuff on. Uh, I get you doing that, Sagittarius, and uh, this person over here, I feel, is looking around. Uh, they also have stuff. They've accumulated stuff. They have probably have their own house, their own uh, uh, wealth. Uh, and I feel like this person is also thinking, you know what, I've got all this stuff, but I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Um, okay. How do you feel about this person? Ten of Wands. Okay, well, you know what, I get you being the leader, I get you being the light, uh, the, the person that's leading the way, the head charioteer. I actually feel like this person is more going to follow you, take action towards you and follow you. Now, I don't mean chase, I just mean follow your lead in terms of where your life is headed. I feel that your life purpose and this person's life purpose are on course to collide at some point, but not just yet. Okay, let's see how they feel about you, four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, I get you as being someone who is... Uh, Thinking more in terms of, mm, it's not that you're not uh, stable, I get you being very stable, it, it's just that when it comes to your home, you're thinking about, mm, well, where do I really want to be at this stage in my life? Some of you are thinking about moving, I get that. And so there's, there feels a little bit like a... Um, It's not a homeless energy. <laughs> it's a little bit like being homeless, but not quite. It just feels like being not quite tethered to the practical, quite tethered to the earth. I'll have to see where that goes, guys. Um, I don't think it's bad. It just it just feels more like um, this chariot is taking off, and and you're in the chariot. You're driving the chariot you're taking off there and, and there's no room for a lot of luggage, a lot of baggage. Uh, it feels a lighter kind of energy. You're untethered. But having it all, you know, the less, the less you have practically in terms of things, stuff, the, it's almost like the more prosperous you feel. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's an, an interesting energy that I'm picking up off you, Sagittarius. Now, what's hidden here is the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay. You know what, I just don't feel like you're really taking a lot on board these days or taking things to heart. Again, I get this lighter energy. You know, you, you, you don't feel like you need to push back at anyone. If anyone's coming at you, you're just kind of getting in your chariot and saying, you know what, I'm off, I'm out of here. I don't see you engaging any, in any kind of uh, conflict or drama. Now for them, what's hidden is the Two of Cups in reverse. So they're missing love in their life. I feel that's the thing that they're starting to think, you know what, I, I really do miss having a partner, a connection. And you're, you seem to be getting away here. Um, this person may have resisted you in the past, Sagittarius, but it feels like you're f almost floating away. 
Mm, okay. The strength here is the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel that there's uh, there's an energy around you of feeling light, feeling uh, feeling better. If you've had any kind of uh, feelings of uh, sadness, being maybe even some depression for some of you, I get that that is starting to dissipate. You're starting to feel like your old self again. You're opening up to a range of possibilities. You're not getting tied down or bogged down in just one thing. Now their strength is the Two of Swords. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, I get... Uh, I get this person is, is a very smart person, very bright, and I feel that they're going to make the right call. I feel that they've been in there, in the past there's been some procrastination, I feel like this person hasn't taken action in the past, they've been stuck. But once they take this time to think about you know, what they're missing in their life, I feel that they're smart enough to realize what they're missing and then go after it. Okay. The challenge for you is the King of Pentacles. Now, I feel this person. Um, I've got them as a King of Cups, King of Pentacles, so there may be water and earth mix, but it doesn't have to be. Again, not gender specific. They may identify as male or female or any variation thereof these days. I mean, I can't keep up, guys. I'm really, it makes it very difficult. So I'm just going to say in terms of uh, spirituality and duality, masculine and feminine. So I'll probably just keep it to that to keep it uh, very pretty simple, I think. So... I do feel like this person has been perhaps in more of their feminine energy recently, but that's something that they needed to do. I feel that this person needed to come to terms with the reconcile their masculine and feminine sides. If they were too much in their masculine, I feel that they're very self-focused, maybe even self-centered resisted this emotional connection in the past, didn't have love in their life. I feel that this person has been alone for a while. But now I feel like they're taking some time to reconcile how they feel, how things make them feel. Uh, their emotions are coming back into play here. Uh, they're being readjusted, their hormonal balance, if you will. Um, of the feminine and masculine are re being recalculated okay readjusted back into balance okay we have the six of wands in reverse uh -huh. that's that masculine energy uh, arrogance ego i feel like in the past they have been very much in their uh, in their ego very much in their uh, masculine but distorted masculine energy uh, this person has been very strong with the, with their with their own selfish kind of needs and desires in the past very focused on self but i do feel that that's changing Let, let's see in your environment sagittarius we've got the queen of swords in the reverse uh, Okay, this is someone around you. I'm picking it up as a, a f possibly a, a family member or friend. Could be air sign, doesn't have to be. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, but this person seems to be upset with you for some reason. They're, they're disappointed. Um, this person... Yeah, I get that this person... I get them as being quite cold to you. I get a coldness around this person. Okay, we'll have to see what, what that is, but I've got that as another person. 
I don't feel it's a third party or anything like that. It's something to do with you, someone around you, who doesn't like or doesn't agree with what you're doing. Now in their environment we have the Five of Cups. I feel that they also have people in their ear. Um, so it seems like you both have some interfering or meddling people around you. I get uh, family and friends. Um, but I feel that you both are kind of closing off, closing off your ears, not really, um, not really paying attention to what is being said. Your advice here, Sagittarius, is Queen of Wands energy, and for them, it's the Three of Cups. So it seems like Sagittarius, this is going to. I feel that you're going to do what's best for you ultimately with this Queen of Wands energy you're going to choose what is best for you uh, this person over here it seems to be about reuniting or reunion uh, coming together with you uh, not listening to what other people say going with their gut uh, marrying their intuition with their uh, with their intellect and seizing the day uh, so Sagittarius, let's see here guys, I'm going to pull a card from this deck here and then I'm going to go to the extended. So if this is your reading, please do join me. I'll be pulling over the outcome cards. We'll be going uh, much further in detail and I'll be clarifying as well. So it'll be about a 30 minute reading. So if this is you, uh, feel free to join me there. The link will be down below in the descriptions box. Now if you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot and purchase directly. I'm going to stop and, and uh, wait until the, the banging outside <laughs> finishes and then I'll do the extended, so uh, uh, just keep that in mind guys. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, okay. Someone's preventing. Preventing the, uh, okay, let's see, preventing... Oh, okay. What I'm getting around this is that someone's been very, very slow here, um, hesitant, procrastinated. Um, it's out of fear. You know, we see this this fool here getting his uh, feet on the fire. So I feel like this person has been burned before. So it seems like Sagittarius, this person is thinking of taking action. But there's a risk in taking action, you know, they could get burned. But there's also a risk in not taking action as well. So it's really all about uh, this person, what they can reconcile, uh, risk versus reward. Uh, but with this Three of Cups, I feel that they're being pointed towards reward uh, rather than being focused on risking. Because if they look inwardly and see what they're risking, I feel that they will see that they have so much more to gain from having a connection with you, Sagittarius, than what they could be losing, which I feel could be maybe some independence, uh, solitude, but they'd be gaining so much more in terms of love, passion, sex, uh, ex experiences, because with you, you're all about the experience at the moment. Uh, Sagittarius. So let's see where this goes for you. Hope that you join me. The link is down below for part two. If you would prefer a personal reading, of course, you can reach out to me. And if you uh, wouldn't mind pressing that thumbs up button, guys, I'd be so appreciative if you would. Share me on your social media. And if you're a newcomer, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you guys. Wishing you the best, Sagittarius. I'll see you in part two or I'll speak to you again very soon.